What is good, everybody? Welcome back to Real Fan Sports. My name is Zach. I'm here with my partner, Nonfiction. What's good with you, brother? Man, I'm chilling, brother. What you got for us today? Today, we're going to check out the rules of ice hockey, man. Okay. Some hockey, some ice hockey. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we've done our first little a couple hockey games on a live stream. I've personally mm -hmm. never watched hockey. Non has yeah. watched it. He's actually filmed it at the college level. Yeah. But we're just getting a little refresher. It's been a minute. So let's see what they got. That's good. I like Nan too. Nan explains N Nan's the rules my guy. of ice hockey. Yeah. The object of the game is for your team to score more goals than the opposing team. To score a goal, a player must hit the puck, which is a four inch disc of rubber, completely across the goal line and into the goal. If the puck doesn't cross the line, it doesn't count. The ice surface is 200 feet by 85 feet in North America and 60 meters by 30 meters internationally. The game starts with a face off, where the puck is dropped between two opposing players at center ice. A face-off is used to restart play and can happen at one of the eight other face-off dots on the ice. ice oh, oh I didn't even realize that there was one eight of the eight ones. other face-off. Yeah, they use. I, I knew they had times, those four. Yeah, a lot of times you'll see it at the the four on the inside, as if there's like an offsides or like a. Yeah, most times it's like an offside situation or a penalty that happens within that area. Within but usually, the, the blue strips, yeah. Usually, you'll see them on the far ends because the action happened on the far ends. I got you. I got you dots on the ice. Ice hockey is played with two teams of 20, with six players on the ice at any one time. They consist of three forwards, two defenders, and one goalie. There's an unlimited amount of substitutions in this game, and they can happen at any time. The game is played in three 20-minute periods, for a total playing time of 60 minutes. High score at the end of time wins. It sounds easy enough to understand, and Good it's the most Madden, simplistic you know? way of looking at if it. If you score yeah, more points, you win the game. things that you can and cannot do. And should you break one of these rules, you will serve a time penalty, leaving your team with one less player and your opponents with a man advantage. Mm -hmm. The team with a man advantage is on the power play, and this makes it easier There's to score a goal play. We've as seen there a couple is one less those. player to defend the net. Yeah. The team with the man in the penalty box is on the penalty kill, and usually they defend like crazy until the time of the penalty expires. So wait, what's a penalty kill? Well, let me hear that so, so the team mm -hmm. that the team that loses the player is they're trying to kill the penalty. So remember when we were watching the game, they were trying, they were keeping it behind the goalie. They wasn't trying to really push it down. Right, they were waiting to get their, they're waiting to get their teammate back. So they, ah, they were they're trying, trying to, they're trying to kill time, basically. Yeah. So kill the penalty, kill time, so they can get, it, get back to full squad. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Box is on the penalty kill, and usually they defend like crazy until the time of the penalty expires. The yeah. length of time of penalty depends on the infraction made. These minor infractions results in two minute minor. Oh, let me look at these. All right, so, uh. Hooking, slashing, delay of game, interference, goaltender interference. Also, that was a question I asked too. So you can get called for interference on a goalie. So they can't just like stand can, and try yeah. to push the goalie and stuff like that. I oh, yeah you, yeah. you can't do that. Uh, tripping, roughing, elbowing, uh, boarding. What's boarding? That one, I, I don't think I remember hearing that before. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Not sure. It could be just them pushing them to the sideboards, like overdoing oh, it. Oh, you're could, probably so. That embellishment type thing. Could we deal with that? I think that's what a lot of this is. They just simplify it as embellishment. Like, because yeah. all this stuff, like, you you know, people do elbow and they do push against the board, but it's that embellishment of doing it. That makes sense. Yeah. And the penalties. When a goal is scored by a team on the power play, the penalty time is cut short and the player is let out of the penalty box. These major oh, infractions result in five minute major penalties. Yeah. Unlike minor penalties, a major penalty has to be served in full, even if the other team scores. And these misconduct infractions result in 10 minute misconduct penalties. Oh wow. As with a major penalty, the player has to serve the full 10 minutes in full, even if the other team scores. There is one other infraction, the game misconduct, which results in a player yeah, being ejected player from ejected. the entire game. Mm -hmm. There's a few other rules you'll need to understand before going to a game. For example, penalty shots. A penalty shot is awarded to a player if they've been obstructed before the they can shoot. Are so the shooter will start from center ice and try to <laughs> score against the defending goalie. Only one shot is allowed, so the shooter must make it count. Offside, the puck must completely cross your opponent's blue line before any other players on your team. If a player crosses the blue line before the puck, it's offside and results okay. in a face-off in your end of the ice. This is to prevent yep. you keeping players in front of the opposing Simple goalie enough. for the entire game. 
Icing. Icing is where you shoot the puck across two red lines, the red center line and your opponent's goal okay. line. Okay. It, it was kind of like what I was saying. I, I just, yeah. I knew it had something to do with the lines. I was like, these lines are here. So the blue is oh, yeah, help they're identifying all offside. <laughs> yeah, I figured yeah. that. And then the red is is for icing. So they can't sit yeah. past two, they said two lines. Two, two red lines. And your opponent's goal line. If, if you notice, there's a red line in the center, there's a red line behind each goalie. Yes. Yes. Okay. I got that now. Line. If you are caught icing, this will result in a face-off being taken at your end of the ice. This rule is to prevent teams from just dumping the puck and making it a boring game. Draw or tie. In international rules, if both teams at the end of three periods have the same amount of goals, the game is ended and it's awarded as a draw or a tie. Okay. Overtime. In North American rules, if the game is tied after three periods, there is sudden death overtime period, meaning that if a goal is scored during this period, the game is over. Shootout. If this game is still tied after the overtime period, a shootout commences. Each team will have three shooters. The team with the best out of three shots will win the game. If after three shooters the game is still tied, it moves to a sudden death shootout, meaning that the next goal, without reply, wins. That's a lot to take a little in. Trickle in. Watch play ice hockey. <laughs> would have pissed me off if I was a goalie. I just kind of trickled right. in right there. I'd be just like, walked in. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I bet so, man. I bet so. If I cursing like crazy in, in that, uh, don't they? Don't they have a mic near there as well? Uh, they have a camera. Know I, I know I, they have a camera. They, but there's a camera. Right. There's a camera there. I don't know how well it's mic'd up, but I know there's a camera. There's a camera That's above, funny. and some in some places there's a camera in the net. So in you the can net, see the, yeah. the you see it flying in there. I got you. I think that's just about it. Let's the see. rules will become second nature. Enjoy yeah. ice hockey. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty basic, like, intro of, of yeah. what hockey is, but it definitely went over the things that happen often, you know? Yes, that was, that's basically, yeah, yeah. It happened things often, because, like, icing was one thing, like, you tried explaining it to me, and I was, like, kind of grasping at it, but I had, I'm really <laughs> still confused. The offside thing I understood, uh, I didn't realize that there was also, you know, different levels of penalties, too. Like, I, I assumed that, you know, two minutes was the short one, but I didn't realize it was a five and a ten as well. So like you, you could miss you don't a whole see a period lot. almost. Yeah. yeah. You don't you just don't see them a lot because they don't fight as much as they used to. They kind of cut that off. So you don't see the heavy penalties. You don't you it's not saying players don't get ejected. It does happen, but it's it's rare. Yeah. But I mean, you see more two minutes than anything. You know, I got you. I got you. Well, cool, man. Well, look, guys, if y'all are just finding this video of ours and you've never joined us during our hockey live streams, we are mm -hmm. trying to make that a little more frequent. We know it's in the Stanley Cup right now, so we're kind of near the end. We're going to try and check out some playoff games whenever we get a chance throughout yep. the week as a live stream. And if you'd like to see some more uh, hockey content on here, comment down below. Let us know what you want to see. We also have a request form in the description where you can put the exact video you'd like us to watch. Um, exactly. Also, I also know there's a lot of other descriptive videos of the rules of hockey. So if you want us to go look at something a little more in depth, tell us. We'll do it. Most definitely. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And we're out. <laughs> Cheers. Peace out, y'all.